Let's take our English stencil course book and go to the next unit, unit 2, too big, too small by Lavanya Karthik. What do you love doing? Draw what makes you happy. Is there anything that makes you happy children? Maybe an ice cream or maybe a beautiful flower or a beautiful butterfly or anything. Draw anything and color that makes you happy. Okay? You could draw anything and color it and send me the picture. Now let's go on and think and tell me how do you help your parents at home? How do you help your teacher at school? Do you help your parents? Yes, you all are very good children. I'm sure you help your parents and I'm sure you help your teacher. When school starts, I'm sure you will be very good children and help your teacher at school. Let's read. Look at this picture. What do you think is happening here? What are the things you see? We see a little girl crying and asking her mummy, Come mummy, take care of me. But mummy is busy with the little baby. And then there's a small cat who's looking at all this very scared in a basket. And then you can see so many books here and so many bag, one bag and a dress hanging. This is a typical house uh, room where all this is happening. Let's see what Mama is saying. I can't lift you up, Shanu, says Ami. You are too big. Ami is too big and she's asking her mummy to carry her. What does Ami say? Ami. Ami means mummy. Okay. Some people call their yeah, mummies Ami. Some people say Amma. Some people say mummy. What do you call your mama? Okay. So here Shanu is calling Ami. Shanu is the child's name and Ami is the mother's name. Okay. Shanu is saying Ami pick me up. Carry me. But Ami says you are too big. Then what happens? You can't walk to school alone, Shanu, says Abu. Over here we see Shanu. Shanu is going to school alone. Her Ammi told her that she's big. So she walks to school alone. And look at Abu. Abu means daddy. Abu is running and the cat is also running. Abu is running and telling Shanu, Stop Shanu, you are too small, you can't go to school alone. You can't walk to school alone, Shanu, says Abu. You are too small. You can't sleep in the baby's cot, Shanu, says Dadu. You are too big. Who is Dadu? Dadu means Grandpa. G R A N D P A Grandpa Abu means Daddy Okay What does Dadu tell Shanu? Shanu tries to sleep in her baby brother's cradle or in the cot But Dadu tells her Shanu you are too big Then what happens? Let's see you can't carry the baby to the park, Shanu, says Dadi. You are too small. Dadi means what, children? Dadi means grandma. Grandma. Okay, what does grandma tell Shanu? See, Dadi, grandma is screaming at Shanu. Shanu, don't carry the baby, you're too small. Then what happened? Shanu is puzzled. Puzzled means surprised. Underline this word. Surprised. Too big? Too small? Shanu thinks in her mind. Sometimes you tell me I'm too small and sometimes you tell me I'm too big. I'm puzzled. I'm surprised. I can't understand. How can she be too big and too small all at once? Shanu is thinking in her mind, how can I be big and small both together? I am too big to wear her old pink frock. 
Shanu, everybody tell Shanu, Shanu, you are too big to wear your old pink frock. And you are too small to make dosas at the stove. What's a stove? In the kitchen you have a stove. Okay, it's not stove, it's stove. Where your mama makes dosas. Shanu is too small to make dosas alone. It's dangerous, no? You should not make dosas alone. And Shanu is too big to climb up on Dadu's back. See, Shanu, sometimes she's big and sometimes she's small. So, Shanu is saying, how can I be big and small? I don't understand. Too small to make dosas. Too big to climb up on Dadu's back. Too small to carry the baby on hers. Hers means on her back. Shanu is asking, what am I the right size for? What am I the right size for? Shanu wonders. Wonders means think. Ammi smiles and says. Ammi means mother. Ammi smiles and says, you are just big enough to go to a big school. You are big enough to take me for my morning walk, says Dadu. And you are small enough to tell stories to, says Dadi. And you will always, always be the perfect size for this. All say and give her a warm, wonderful hug. Look at Shanu, she's so happy. When Shanu is asking everybody, why are you saying I am very small? Why are you saying I am very big? Then Ammi says, Shanu, you know what? You are just big enough to go to a big school like all of you. You all are in first standard and you are big enough to go to a big school. And you are big enough to take me for my morning walks, says Dadu. Yes, you can take your grandpa for a walk. You are so big. And you are small enough to tell stories too. And you are in first standard, Shanu. All of us can tell you stories. So you are a small girl. And you will always, always be the perfect size for this. What is this? A hug. And if you are too big or too small, there is no problem because you are big enough or small enough for a beautiful hug from your family. So, this was the lesson of Shanu who sometimes feels she is big and sometimes she is small. So, all of you should try to read this lesson once and Understand the words and we'll write the new words in our classwork.